Hey, good morning everybody. It is the Thursday, the week, the exact day and week. It is a week away from Thanksgiving. So, uh, morning to all of you. So, morning to all of you. Uh, I didn't get a chance to talk about this last week because I've been busy working. My nephew's back from the Navy and up until the early part of December. So, I didn't really get a chance to, I didn't really get a chance to do any of this, so. I really didn't get a chance to, to talk about this. But you see the title down below. And if you hear a little barking and squeaking, it's because my dog wants to play right now. So, uh, anyway, anyway, um, la you know, last week Nintendo did one of the Nintendo Directs, and when they did it. They can't, you know, usually a lot of people, they don't pay much attention to, to the Nintendo Directs. You know, because it's like, okay, it's just, uh, you know, it's just a, uh, it's just like a little mini Nintendo e con E3 conference or whatever it is. Just probably updating you on what's going to come, like, okay, what updates are going to be brought to this game, da, 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 da. But no, from what Andre... Um, Meadows of Black Nude Comedy is reported. Alpha Omega Sin is reported. Apparently, Ninten these are the kind of Nintendo Directs that even when you don't see, that are the kind that you don't see coming or you don't know about that likes to go hog wild. And that's the truth. It's like if you know, it's like ironically, it's like if you know a Nintendo Direct's coming, a Nintendo Direct is coming, you don't worry about it. It's like, uh, it's just going to be, you know, updating us on what is going to be at, you know, of what, <clears throat> of what games are coming for this time of year, da, da, da. But every now and then, like Andre said, uh, like Andre said, comes these, n n n these Nintendo Directs, <clears throat> excuse me, comes these Nintendo Directs that you don't know about, you don't see coming, that surprise you and they did just that last week with this more recent Nintendo Direct because first of all they did talk about some games coming up uh, which was common you know uh, I mean Xenoblade Chronicles looks good it looks like it's going to be it looks like it's going to be their answer to PlayStation's Final Fantasy um, so you had that you had the talk of new Amiibo coming in as well and you know just a bunch of other stuff you know they even talk, even introduced this little crane game that you get to pay, play for five times and for free but if you want to play more than that you gotta spend money so out of all that the two announcements they made though were of Linkle of Legend of Zelda one of them was of Linkle I should say of Legend of Zelda let me correct myself there and she's coming into Hy Hyrule Warriors, the 3DS version. Now, Linkle is basically a female version of Link. No, it's not Link transgendered or anything. It's just a female version of Link. Now, that's my dog. That was just, you know, she's just a female version of Link. You know, she's just, that's what she is. <laughs> You know, she's just a female version of Link. So, and obviously she does differ in a sense because Link, yes, he has a bow, he has a sword, but Linkle, she has cr two crossbows, from what I understand, from what I've seen. She has two crossbows. Apparently they probably will give her a sword if she, she does have one, but her main, two, her main weapons are two crossbows. So, that's pretty cool. Now, it seems that Linkle is going to be sticking around, and Andre's even predicted that he would not be surprised if not only do we get an amiibo out of her, 
but she ends up in Smash in the near future. I mean, next month, one of the things they did announce was they got a big Smash Brothers broadcast announcement that they're going to be making. So whatever that could be is going to be interesting. It would be really interesting, really intriguing, if you will. And I wouldn't be surprised if part of that Smash Brothers announcement is uh, the announcement of uh, new DLC characters, and one of them being Linkle. I wouldn't be surprised, like I said, if part of that Smash Brothers announcement next month is of new DLC, and like I said, uh, part of that DLC is uh, Linkle as a fighter, but we'll have to wait and see. But then came the announcement that nobody saw coming. It's, you know, speaking of Smash, we know every now and then that, especially with this edition of Smash, a character will be added in, in. a character, excuse me for a second, <sighs> need to get something to drink there, we know that every now and then a character will be added in to the game via DLC. We know that Ryu, a street fighter of all people, was added in. We know that Lucas was added in, even though he should have been in there in the first place. Mewtwo was a DLC pre-ordered and now a regular DLC. But then came the biggest announcement yet. Something that nobody saw coming. You know, when Solid, when Sonic and when Sonic of Sonic the Hitchhawk and Solid Snake of Metal Gear opened the door and said, "Okay, we're gonna let you guys in," it's like, "All right, fine, that's cool." But then all of a sudden, when you get the likes of Ryu coming in from Street Fighter or a Capcom game, you're thinking, "Okay, that's fine," because Street Fighter, when you look at it, is not. It's not a console exclusive, except with Street Fighter V, as far as we know right now. The characters in the franchise itself, except for the fifth one, like I said, as far as we know, is not a console exclusive. All the previous ones are, aren't, for that matter. So for, we, for Ryu to jump in, or be brought into Smash Brothers, that was a surprise, but it basically was something that, in a sense, a lot of fans saw coming, because... Fans that did hack the game noticed, did hack the game early on, or paid, paid attention to those specific details, noticed that Ryu's stage fighting music was in the game. And it made them think, well, wait a minute. If Ryu's stage fighting theme, as well as his theme entirely, is in a Smash Brothers game and he's not, that only means He's going to be in it, we just don't know when. And lo and behold, he's in it. But then, you know, you got all that. But then comes the announcement nobody saw coming. Cloud. Cloud of Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VII, for that matter, is coming to Smash Brothers. No joke. I mean, we know of a lot of the other Fire Emblem characters that have, come, that have come and will be coming. We know of the Lucas character. We know of Mewtwo. We know there's going to probably be other DLC titles like, like maybe Linkle from Hyrule Warriors 3DS. But for Cloud, of all characters to show up, that, that's an amazing feat. And I'm sorry if I took long to get to this point, to, to, to mention it. But for Cloud to show up, that is an amazing feat because here's a character that is part of Final Fantasy that is a PlayStation exclusive. I should know because I have played one, maybe I think a few of the Final Fantasy games and I have Final Fantasy Advert Children, the movie, on DVD in a sense. So, so for me, as well as I have Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy The Spirits Within on both DVD and Blu-ray. So, for someone like Cloud, who's become a huge, a huge focus of Final Fantasy in the past 15 years, 
if you will, well actually the past 19 to 15, 15 to 19 years, if you will. But for him to show up and be an integral part now, or be a DLC fighter for Smash, that's unbelievable. It really is. Now we all know that not that long ago, Nintendo, hold on for a sec. You know, we know that not that long ago, you know, we know that not that long ago, hold on, we know that not that long ago, I'm trying to get my dog out of the plants there, um, we know that not that long ago, Nintendo um, held a contest for people like us to submit who we wanted to see as the next DLC fighters in Smash. And a lot of people submitted a lot of different names of characters they felt were worthy of being in Smash. Heck, the Sonic community themselves, being a Sonic fan, the Sonic fan base themselves, like the Sonic fan base themselves, like I was trying to say, even contributed several names from Shadow. Eggman even got in there. Blaze, I believe, got that. Got it. Uh, got uh, suggested. Rouge, Amy, Tails, Knuckles, all the names that you, of all the main game names, primary game characters of Sonic were being suggested, were being submitted, if you will. But there were some that are not exclusive game characters that you only, but are part of the Sonic franchise, that fans were submitting. One of the top names that a lot of people were submitting was Sally Acorn which was a surprise, thinking that this might be the only chance Sally might have to get in a video game. And fans were submitting and submitting and submitting her name. Some were even submitting Buddy Rabbots. You know, because in a sense, they want to see these characters become official video game characters so that Sega does more with them instead of ignoring them. But, you know, but, you know, that's what happened a few months ago. Nintendo did that uh, contest, and I don't know if Cloud is part of that contest, and that's the reason he's gotten announced, or something's going on. I don't really know. But I do know that this is a huge shock, but he, because here's a character, a Final Fantasy PlayStation fame, if you will, Final Fantasy PlayStation fame, if you will, that... that basically no one would have thought would show up. I mean, if the Final Fantasy games from 7 up, from 7 and up, would have been part of Nintendo, would have been all console, if you will, like Nintendo, Microsoft, you know, and even, uh, you know, and of course PlayStation. If they have been all consoles, then this wouldn't be much of a surprise. But because Final Fantasy has primarily been an intent, a PlayStation exclusive in a sense, even though they tried to port it over to Xbox 360 several years ago, even though they tried to port it over to you know, Xbox 360 several years ago, unsuccessfully, I guess, because they haven't done it since. Uh, this is a huge deal. It's really huge. Because now you're going to have dream matches you never thought you could have. You're going to have dream matchups that you never thought you could have. 
I mean, think about it. Think about it. Cloud versus Link. Cloud versus Sonic. Cloud versus Mario. Cloud versus Ryu of Fire Emblem. And Cloud versus Ryu of Street Fighter. Cloud versus Mega Man. I mean, the possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. And for this to happen and become a reality is a big, big deal. Now, is this just the beginning of more coming? Well, with the announcement coming next month, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised if we do get more DLC announced next month. I mean, if that contest that Nintendo was running is legit in many ways, then we're going to find out who won out to get into the game. You know, or who the top five was that won out to get in the game. And if Sally Acorn's name is on there in that top five next month, if that's part of this announcement, then holy smokes. <laughs> what a surprise that will be. But the thing is, you know, with Cloud's announcement, it's, it just shows that Smash Brothers is, gonna, is becoming a more universal fighting game that is, that's going to incorporate every kind of major video game franchise it can. It's going to be like the ultimate all-star fighting game. It, it sounds like that's Nintendo's goal with the Smash Brothers series especially with the Wii U one right now. That it's the Wii U 3DS one, I should say. That it's going to be the ultimate all-star game, fighting game experience because look at the lineup you have now. You include Cloud and then whoever else is going to be added in the future. It's like the, the possibilities are endless. I mean, can you imagine if for some odd forsaken reason for some odd forsaken reason that Jin Konosami, or whatever his name is, from Tekken gets announced. Can you imagine, and I don't think it will happen, but could you imagine if someone like, oh, I don't know, Scorpion got announced, or Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat? That would be, that would be freaking unbelievable. Could you imagine those scenarios? Can you imagine that? I mean, it's possible. Because again, that looks like Nintendo's goal with Smash. To make it the ultimate all-star fighting game. It's, it's, I mean, when, when I read about Cloud, it took me a sec, I'll be honest, when I read about that Cloud was going to be in there, and it said Final Fantasy, it took me a while to think, and I was like, well, wait a minute. You mean that blonde-haired guy, that main and protagonist? He's going to be in it? It, it? it just blew my mind. You know, it just, it just blew my mind uh, to know that. To know that, but again, like I said, it took me a while to register it. It's like, Cloud. Cloud, Cloud. I was like, Cloud? Who? And then when I said Final Fantasy, that's when, that's when the pieces came together, that's when the alarm went off, it's like, holy sh oh, it's like, oh, Cloud, it's like, oh, Cloud, a, a Final Fantasy, you know, like I said, that's when the pieces started to come together, I was like, wait a minute, that blonde hair, like I mentioned earlier, that blonde hair, hair protagonist, that's unbelievable, it's huge, so, to basically know that Cloud's going to be in Smash, it's unbelievable, it is, basically, I think, as Andre put it, and I think Alpha put it, it opens the door wide open. It just opens it up, and with this announcement from Nintendo coming in December about Smash, one could only imagine what else could be added. Who else could be added? I mean, I mean, I can understand adding in some of the Nintendo characters. I mean, can you imagine King Hippo being added in? That would be unbelievable. Can you imagine Crash Bandicoot? 